Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Why is this so crooked? I don't know. Because I'm crooked, right? Uh, which way am I going? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Don't mean to make you dizzy if you're out there. And my little thing is coming undone. Let me change it on here. Hi, Paige. How are you doing? And I'm rearranging furniture, um, my desktop here a little bit because it's crooked. Ugh. Well, did you have a good productive afternoon or morning or both or... I think if I go like that, looks crooked on the desk to me, but it's straight to you guys. And then I can slide this back up, maybe like that. <laughs> Feeling off, yeah. I um, I had a um, when well, you know last week I got sick, mid making midway through making my um. 15th cards on Wednesday last week and uh, hello everybody else <laughs> anyway hi Brandy and then um, I was I, I had to babysit that night and I went there but I didn't go anywhere near my granddaughter who's been sick the last like three or four days now with fevers of 104 and they told her it was the flu um, but I didn't really have any flu symptoms I had more like an intestinal bug and I felt feverish and achy. Well, to, I, then I, I felt fine the last couple days, but today I went and had blood drawn and then I had to go to the dentist and I don't feel that great now. And I don't know whether I just was doing that stuff too soon or what, but I, I'm okay, but I feel a little achy, you know, like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm a little off today as far as my mojo too. Yeah. Hi, Clay. Thank you. So what I decided to do tonight after my, oops, after my few little announcement things. Yeah, I don't think I will, although I didn't have a flu shot yet. <laughs> and now I'm worried I was with her. No, I don't know. She looked tired when I was there last week, but I'm more worried about my daughter getting sick because, yeah, I just am. Um, all right, I'm looking for my papers that I need. Here they are. Okay. So we're going to be working with this catalog. So, <clears throat> Brandy, if you're looking for it, this is what it looks like. Okay, it, it opens this way. <laughs> okay, but that's fine, Brandy. And then the celebration thing is this little guy here. Just talking to Brandy about that because she was looking for her catalog. I couldn't remember, I think, what it looked like, but that's what it looks like. So pretty. Now, we're going to be using the poppies in the second card, hopefully. The second card, I have the pieces all cut out, but I haven't made any card yet. The first card, I made one, um, and that'll be a surprise. So, um, just a couple things before I get into my haul, my little haul. Um, so, Paper Pumpkin... You're now signing up for the February kit, and it is going to coordinate with the stamp set called, huh, hang on, I have it here, Happy Birthday to You, which is a celebration item. So it's going to coordinate with that, and let's see, the colors are... It's going to make nine cards and envelopes, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, Rich Razzleberry, which is a purple, Rococo Rose, which I'm starting to really like a lot more lately, and Old Olive. So um, it will coordinate with that, and this is the Rich Razzleberry here. So it looks pretty, and this actually is a beautiful set. I, I have not used it yet. I had hoped to tonight, but it'll have to be another time. Because I just couldn't color today. <laughs> That's how off I was. I just couldn't. I couldn't color. So, and then if you want to sign up for the paper pumpkin before February 10th, 
now is a good time to prepay for three, six, or 10, um, I'm sorry, three, six, or 12 months, because with prepays, you actually register on the Stampin' Up! website, and therefore, you'd be eligible for one or more celebration items by registering for the, the paper pumpkin kit. For, I, I, I actually did it for six months, which is $114. You save a dollar a month. You pay shipping when you place your order. So it's 10%. So you're probably saving on shipping that way. And they may have that figured in. But if you order other things, it kind of all adds together. And so you do save on shipping too, that way. Um, and of course, if you have tax, that would be extra. So three months is 63, six months is 114, and 12 months are 220. Those prices are valid as of today. Hi, Nix. Um, so, you know, if you're watching this in the future as a replay, I don't know what the prices will be at that point. So for three months, it shows right on here, you'd be eligible for one celebration item, level one. That means equivalent to a $50 purchase um, celebration item or, um, six months, you could either get two level one or one level two and 12 months. You could either get four level ones or two level twos, or you could do two level ones and one level two, that kind of thing. So yeah, I mean, it's a good, the best time to prepay for paper pumpkin is now. <laughs> so one other quick announcement. Oh, and it's also the best time to join my team because if you do you get the fabulous little guillotine paper trimmer isn't that cute it's it'll cut it'll fit six inch paper and it goes to about four and a half eh, about four and a quarter inches it looks like um i don't recommend it for trying to get tiny little slivers i like the bigger one for that but if you just need to cut a you know, like a two inch strip or something, it's perfect. Um, I have trouble lining up, it might just be me. I have trouble just lining it up and having the little little strip stay there to cut a little mini strip or something. But, um, but I, I do recommend it for six inch paper to cut it down for your card mats and stuff like that. So that is the cutie little guillotine thing and then there's a whole pack of paper six by six inch sampler paper it has the lily pad the um country club the poppies the tropical the birthday bonanza which we're also going to use tonight and the well-dressed and that might be it um so yeah in addition to uh, $125 worth of product for your $99. And in addition to your choice of a stamp set, um, host sets and celebration sets are excluded, but it could be anything from any current catalog. So the annual catalog or um, the mini catalog that used to be called occasions. Okay. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. So I'm just going over a little business. And then I'm going to give you a sneak peek. And I have two of these starting February 4th. This is a teaser. There's going to be some celebration coordination items added. And I have two to show you. I can't really show you these because I don't have all any but two. But I'll show you those two because I love them. But to show you those two. Uh, all right. Um, so this will be part of my haul. I had this already, right? And this, by the way, this adorable little ladybug, which I'm dying to use, and I just haven't had a chance. So I need to add that to my next week agenda, I think. Mm, we'll see. Anyway, this is if you, during celebration, if you host a party and or place an order, for $300 or more, you get this adorable little ladybug um, stamp set. Okay, so it's, it's adorable. I love it. Hi from Orlando, Honeybee Stamping Hive. You need to stay tuned 
um, tomorrow we have our um, craft our paper stash cards that Stamp Girl, Linda Kaufman, and I do on the 15th every month. <laughs> Paige, <laughs> don't squeeze your eyes shut and fingers in your ears. You won't be able to see or hear anything. I know that's the point. <laughs> Anyway, one of the items that is celebration coordination, which is a purchase item, not a celebration, is coordinating dies for these lovely little ladybugs. So the flower, um, all the little adorable cutesy little bugs, this little flying swirly thing, which I love. I just think this is adorable and I can't wait to use it. And look at these cutie little things. I've been seeing things on Instagram and um even from overseas and stuff and some of the things that people are doing are just adorable and i haven't even touched it yet so i need to get on the ball <laughs> so that is one of the coordination things that the dyes will be available february 4th to march 31st during the rest of celebration from that point on this is available now but only if you host a party and it's 300 dollars or more uh or um, hang on, sorry, my light is bugging me here. Or if you want to place an order that big, which I know that's a lot to ask. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that's one thing. But the next thing I just had to have, had to have it. If you have any of the shaped punches on your wish list for the mini catalog, get them. <laughs> And then order this. This is available um, at the same time, February 4th through March 31st for purchase. It's $11.50. That one I remember. I don't remember the die price. Um, this coordinates with the umbrella punch, both shapes. Okay. So that is one. And then on the back, we have these. Oh, I already did this. We have these cute raindrops to go with the umbrellas. Isn't that cute? Love it. I love the colors in this and the flowers. It's just so spring and I'm just, maybe I'm just ready for spring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. Clay. Oh my gosh. Um, and then this one coordinates with the solid, not the scalloped heart punch. Although I think you can use the scalloped one if you don't mind getting white around the edges. But I just thought this was cute. And it's got flowers in the hearts or little dashes and dots. Maybe that says I love you in, I don't know, I'm, te I'm teasing. But in um, Morse code, <laughs> I, don't, I doubt it. But, you know, I don't know. And then the back of that one is this gorgeous, not really a gingham. It's bigger than that, but sort of a checked large gingham i guess i'll call it i don't know and then if you got the thoughtful blooms punch in the celebration which you can get with a hundred dollar order hi scrappy tate and who else did i miss tanya hi tanya you can punch out these adorable little flowers look how cute this paper is just i had it soon the minute i saw this i was like i have to have that just so spring and this is the other side, which can go either way. You can do the stripes either way. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Love it. And this one coordinates with the Tulip Builder Punch. So, and it will cut this and this, but apparently they don't, they don't line up exactly. So you have to be careful how you line it up is what I'm told. So, but you know, you can do this and then do a leaf or something or do a leaf separate on separate paper. And then the back is this, but I guess if, if the tulip builder punch has the leaf on it. So actually if it cuts off part of another flower, if you flip it over, you'll have green and that can be your leaf. So that would be all right. And then, yeah, the green on the other side. So let me tell you what the colors are other than bright and colorful. They are Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride. That's the pink in there. Calypso Coral, the orangey color. Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Whisper White. Oh, it's just, hmm. Yeah, love it. 
Right. Paper for all, all the shaped punches that are in the um, mini catalog and celebration for the thoughtful blooms. And um, I think there was a little note in celebration. I'm pretty sure that said that the thoughtful blooms punch may carry over. So at the end of the um, celebration period, I don't know if that means it'll go into the annual or if it'll just carry over like April through May. This definitely goes with the heart duo punch. Beautiful. Love it. Love the pastel -y, springy colors. Anyway, had to share, had to share. Sorry. And by the way, you know, I usually store my 12 by 12 in those thick folders. And I, oh, like, um, let me show you. Like these that I get off Amazon. Sorry for the glare. But these come three to a pack. And they're, so they're a little pricey. So somebody in, in Stampin' Up! Up, up line somewhere recommended you can get these envelopes if you will you get a hundred to a pack for about the same price as you get three of those other ones so I thought I'm gonna try them but they're really just like clear envelopes for flimsy but I thought they'll be all right for keeping my 12 by 12s because the point is to use your 12 by 12s up and then if they get messed up I can toss them, but I think I'm going to continue to keep my specialty papers and stuff in those other folders. So, are you ready to see the rest of my haul? <laughs> Let's see what he said. This one reminds me of laughing. <laughs> happy colors. That's what they are. Happy colors. Yes. Okay. So, let's see. I showed you the ladybug dies in the paper. Oh, remember I was talking about those tiny little pom-poms? And that they really were teeny weeny weeny. Oh, well, now I can't get them open. But look at how tiny. They're truly five millimeter. They are itty bitty. Just to give you a perspective. I don't know. Where's my pinky? My little pinky. <laughs> They're really poly. They're just so cute. Look how tiny. I love them. And I'm using them on my first card tonight. So, yep. And I also... Ended up getting these, which go with the best dressed, uh, which is the one with the pocketbook and lipsticks and all that. So they're petal pink, white, and I believe pretty peacock. They're pretty, and you get three, six, nine, eighteen of them. That's quite a few. So anyway, I got those. Let's see, what else did I get? I don't know. <laughs> um. I don't know if you remember, I already showed you that I had this punch, which is called the Label Me Lovely Punch, which we're going to use in the second card tonight. Well, I wasn't going to get the other punch, but I decided to get it and the stamp set that goes with them. We're actually going to use this tonight, but this is the stamp set, um, and this coordinates with the Label Me Lovely, and this is the Label Me Fancy which has slots in it for your tags. You can make these into tags. It's got the little hole and the long slot to put ribbon through. So I got it for that reason. And that coordinates with this one. And then I believe this one also goes with this one. So I ended up getting that. And I already took one out because I have it ready to use. Now, if your order is 150 or more, this is not celebration. This is the mini catalog. You can get this adorable stamp set. I have to do something with this glare. That's a little better. Make a splash. It's called with the fish bowl and the little fishies and the um, crab, hermit crab, I'm guessing. But although hermit crabs usually hide in a shell. So they need a shell in here. <laughs> but little seaweeds, a little sand or whatever for the bottom of the fishbowl. It says, thanks for making me smile today. You always make a splash. Just keep swimming. And it's the little things. And even the little bubbles for the fish here. So cute. What's, what's he saying? Yeah, I know. Did you say you don't use the Stampin' Up? Um... Honeybees, if they come in one that's resealable, yes, I use those. But um, I don't. I don't know. Do they? I don't. 
I'm not a scrapbooker, so I didn't even know they had page protectors. <laughs> okay, I'll check into that. But they're like to go in a binder, right? So no, I, I haven't bought those. I, I store my stuff on a shelf. Hi, Donna. Thank you for coming. Why did you? <laughs> Why did I what, Brandy? <laughs> I'm not done yet. Okay. Um, I think. Well, I had to get this. This isn't in the mini. This is in the holiday carryover. Snow front, had to get it. After playing with the mountain air one last week, I just, well, kind of had been on the fence about it before that, but I had to get that. So I got snow front. And then I got this one, so sentimental. This is in the mini catalog. And I got this because I wanted the dies and it was just worth it to get the bundle. And I like this one and this one. And kind of yummy licious is cute too and sending healing hugs so but these dyes i always have to get the basics kind of dyes right and look we have scallop stitched rectangles and then these fancy shapes here also two different shapes this kind and then this kind with the more squared off end and this kind was sort of squared off with a knobby so let me see you get 10 dies in there so this is a bundle right now in the mini. Um, it's probably called So Sentimental, but um, not positive on that. Right. I thought of you, Brandy, with that one. I really, really did. So that's a host-only set. Have a party. Get 150 in orders and you can get it. <laughs> Have a party. <laughs> I hear that clay. <laughs> I'm in um I'm in major have to get this. I you know I started I actually spent three hours on mm, Sunday, I think. Um I think we'll use these next week, guys. This is so sentimental. So I got those and I got one more thing. Let me show that first. Anyway, um I spent three hours and all I did was put away Christmas stuff like People, some people gave me and some orders I had sitting here from like Quality Crafts, Jan Evers. And um, I kind of ended up reorganizing my iris bins for Christmas because I have, hmm, here's the sad part. I have six iris bins, three of which are nothing but Christmas paper pads and paper. And the other three are like embellishments and stuff. But I had other stuff just sitting in boxes and stuff all, all around. And I ended up, I bought these two snap together, almost the size of an iris bin totes. And they're sitting on top my tower that houses my six Christmas iris bins. So now I basically have eight iris bins. No more. I can't get any more Christmas. And I have three for fall and three for Halloween. And I just realized I have two iris bins worth of Valentine's Day stuff when I thought I only had one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not I'm not shopping Target and Dollar Tree and all and really anything. All right. So this is celebration. This is for a hundred dollar purchase. It's toward towards the back of the um, celebration catalog for sure, which I'm looking for. But I just had my little paws on and have lost already. Let me get these off the desk. Um, I just, okay. <laughs> I just lost the stamp set that was going with those punches. Here it is. I need that on top because I'm going to be using that. Um, I, I, this is the only thing I had, I didn't have out of the celebration, I think, maybe. And, I was kind of on the fence about it, but I really wanted this stone 3D embossing folder because I thought that looked really cool. I like stuff like that. I like that, um, the hammered metal one. So I really like this stone one too, and I'm anxious to use that. Now, I'm not oriental in background at all, but I do like bonsai trees and pagodas and stuff. So this is all about hope 
um, and things like that. New beginnings, luck, hope is the power that makes all things possible. And I do like that. Um, so if you know somebody struggling, this would be a good set to do that with. So this bundle is for a hundred dollar purchase in celebration. You can get this. Yeah, I do too. I hope they carry that over as well but yeah i never know i never know till closer to the end of the sale period yeah <laughs> well i had a pass i actually was so proud i had a pass cleared here to when you come up the steps to come in the room to sit at this desk you could actually get through but as of right now i'm back to you can barely get through again i'm starting to trip over stuff and that's a bad thing <laughs> okay let me see. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I told you. Oh, yes, I did. I missed one thing. Hang on. I decided to try this stamp cleaning pad. Oops. And the um, and I always get the refill when I get some new pad in case they discontinue or whatever. That way I have it. Um, so I got that. And I have seen people like you know how I keep telling you the red stains the photopolymer. Well, I've seen people use this and it really seems to take the red off as does the, the stamp and cleaner. So I'm anxious to try it. It looks a little weird. It does caution you to rinse your photopolymer and your cling stamps right away after using this in clean water. So I have my little spritzer here and, um, I might, we might be using Poppy Parade on the second, uh, second card we do. So we'll see if, if it works, how, how it says. And I have my glass of water if need be, but I have a spritzer. I always keep water in for, you know, backgrounds and stuff, which I really wanted to do tonight. I just couldn't get my act together to do it. So let me make sure my phone is sort of off or turned down. Okay. Wishful thinking carries over. Oh, I know. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> it's adorable. It really is adorable. I don't know. Hi, Laura Lou. How you doing? I don't know that I would be able to sell that one. There's certain stamps that I get that, um, you know, I had that. I have that use. Oh, that's another thing, guys. I had that used stamp set sale. There are still some things available. Does anybody want me to type out a list and put it in my Facebook group so you can see what's left? I already did post and referred back to the video so you could see. But um, one person ended up not having a PayPal and I don't take checks or anything. So, I mean, I said throughout the whole thing, I only take PayPal. And, and then there were some things that just didn't go. So if anybody's interested... In my Facebook group called Deb House Crafty Cottage Group, I do have a post in there that refers you to the video, which was a live um, Stampin' Up! Retired product sales. If not, I'll hold them. And then when I do the retired Christmas stuff from this past season, I'll just add them back into it. I was just hoping to get them out of my room, too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did I miss anything else? I did don't know Paige. I haven't tried them yet but I'll let you know as soon as I do and I haven't seen anybody in my upline post about the rectangles. Um, kind of doubting it but I don't want to say that for sure because they have that scallop around the edge. All right so I guess we're ready to make a card huh? <laughs> Any questions anybody? All right let me see if I can grab it without knocking everything over so um i will admit that this card design that we're going to do was based on a card by someone in my uplines team named amanda but she i'm not going to show you her card but she um used the paris set for it but we're using Bonanza buddies because they're cute and I need birthday cards. <laughs> so let me show you the dies too in case you haven't seen these. And I'll show you the paper because the paper is just this is another paper that's just adorable. These are the dies. Not only does it cut out 
stamped images you do and these little pennants, which you're going to use that one and balloons and hats and stuff. But the toucan cuts the toucan out of the paper. This is actually the lion um, head and it cuts, oops, I have it upside down on the paper. This is the tip of the lion's tail and the lion's mane and it cuts that out, but it doesn't actually cut his body out. And then you've got the little koala bear here and the little, this is the body. So you would have to cut this out and then, oops, like that. So that's the lion body. And then this is the lion head and the, the fluffy tip on his tail. <laughs> okay. And that is on the paper too. Um, the one that's not holding balloons or anything. So I'll show you the paper here in a minute. So it's a cute birthday set or yeah, let's celebrate you. We're going to use happy birthday and let's celebrate you. I actually did not do a lot of stamping tonight. So let's see what I do with the paper. Here it is. In case you hadn't seen this paper. Here it is. And here's, this is what I was talking about with the lion. If you do this one, there's his mane. So you could probably stamp a body and then cut out this if you didn't want to stamp that part or something. But that little poof on the tail and that big mane cut out together. And the toucan, which we're going to use tonight. Um, but it's this one. <laughs> you can see where I cut them out that doesn't have any balloons or party hat on that it cuts out. And then there's a koala bear too. If I can find them in here somewhere. Sorry. There he is. Cute little koala bear. It would be this one. So your dies cut some of the images out of the paper as well. Okay. Tonight, we're going to be using Mr. Toucan Birdie here, which, by the way, he'd coordinate really well with the Tropical, which I think I'm going to be using next next week. Um, so we're going to be using that and this, oops, this, and the back of the lion paper. So these two together, along with some Bermuda Bay cardstock. So let me put this back in its wrapper. The koala is adorable. They, yes, they surely did, honeybees. Um, I am just loving everything I have. I love the poppy paper. This paper is gorgeous and cute and adorable. This is probably another set just because of the images I would never, <laughs> never part with, which is bad. I know when they retire, we're supposed to not keep them, but eh, oh well. So here's the card we're going to make. Now, this is the same style card that this Amanda on my Uplines team made, but using not the Paris, obviously, but little toucan. Isn't he cute? I love it. <laughs> so, and here's the little pom-poms. Look how cute. I love them too. So how this works is the little flap opens and then the card attaches here. So this is just solid here. See? So that's what we're going to do. And I think it turned out cute. Now I did one little mistake, which I'll fix after we're done tonight, but I have to glue another paper on the back of here because I used pattern paper and I probably should have used cardstock for that because I have a re an image on the reverse, which I really don't want there. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, I'm going to keep what I love too, because you never know. You might need it in a pinch. Well, I've heard some other pretty high up there demonstrators saying it's a business. You really shouldn't be keeping anything that you can't sell. But I, anyway, so let's make this together. Okay. All right. Let me put this up here. And by the way, the host code, if you want to order anything through me in January. Oops, sorry. I bumped my light. Um, no one's having a party right now. So if you want to buy anything and it's under $150, use this host code, please, in January. And that helps me get um, additional goodies that maybe I can give away or whatever. 
So this is your normal card base size. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. This piece here, which goes back here is, I believe four, hang on. I'm sorry, this is four and a half by five and a half. So it's a little bigger. You could trim it down, I guess, a little bit and make it skinnier on the edges. And probably you should. So let's cut that down to, <laughs> oh goodness, because otherwise it won't fit in an A2 envelope, right? So I'm going to have to trim that one down maybe too. All right, so let's, before we put anything on here, it looked like she had more space on her, but I don't think so. Okay, now it's right. Five and a half by four and a quarter. And this is four. I know that for sure. There you go. Just have a little bit. And we're going to glue that down. Okay, Donna. Oh, hope everything works out with Verizon. I've been recently on the, see, this is the other side. It's the cute little tigers, lions, I mean. Oh, I love my kitties, too. <laughs> um, forget what I was going to say, guys. Oh, well. I've been having really slow, really slow computer and internet. Wonder if that's why I keep getting the ads coming up that are for that little flash drive thing you're supposed to put in to make your computer faster. But I'm really kind of leery of getting anything from those ads now because I got ripped on one of them. Anyway. Okay. So there's our background. Then we have. Whisper White, and because you're putting this on here, you don't need to use Thick Whisper White for it. You can if you want to, but I reserve that for my card basis. So that's going to go, this is three and a half by 11. Scored at five and a half. And um, it looks a little crooked to me, actually. Let me see if I can just fix that. Sometimes when I score it on the thing, I think I do worse than just trying to fold it. Mm, still a little crooked, but it's a little better. And actually, yeah, that'll go just perfectly there. Now, I'm not going to glue that down yet, though, because we have to stamp. We're going to stamp on the inside. Let's celebrate you. Get some stuff out of the way here. Let's celebrate you. And we're going to do that in um, Bermuda Bay. Just here. So we'll open this up. I am actually going to bring my little mat in because it's a photopolymer stamp. And I really just feel it works better when you have something underneath. You could use a mouse pad, but the, um, I forget what this is called, the foam. Stampin' up, um, eh. anyway, the piercing mat, that's what I'm trying to think of, um, is good to, to have. And while we're at it, we're going to stamp happy birthday. This piece, I think, is one and a quarter. No, it's just a little over one. I'm using scrap, so it's like one and one sixteenth. <laughs> but you could use one and it would be fine. And we're going to just stamp happy birthday sort of over here. Enough room. I'm gonna, I want to leave enough room because I'm going to use my triple banner punch to do the end. Let me put my ink away. That's all the stamping we're doing for this one. I don't think it's the weather. It's been happening for about a month. And I thought it might have been. I had a new um, virus protection thing on. But my son... Because ever since he put it on for me, it's been slower. And, and I thought, man, it must be running in the background, which it was, and slowing everything up. But he uninstalled it totally and any other antivirus. So now I'm, like, totally unprotected. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, so I don't know what it is. And it, it's still slow is the point. All right. So let's go ahead and flag this while I have this here. Let's see if I can get it. 
I'm going to just try and line it up like I do. Boom! <laughs> and that's all right. I put this away because that's all the stamping. Now, I also am using this piece, which again is going to have the lines on the back. So we're going to, and this is, I think, one and a should have written this down, but I didn't have time. One and a quarter, and this is you say one or one and an one and a sixteenth. <laughs> and actually, you'd be it's pretty pretty close with a one inch. You might want to do one and a sixteenth kind of thing. And this one, I'm going to go in a little further. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if I got it. No, got it off center a little bit. That looks better to me. Okay. Now let's see if they line up together. They do. Now we don't need all this, but we do need some of it. So we're going to just let that go for a minute. Now let's bring this back. And then we have a piece of cardstock. Same size as the white. I mean, not cardstock. Um, designer paper. Isn't that cute? It has all three of them on. Oh, okay, honeybee. Thanks for joining us. And um, darn hubs, husbands calling people for dinner. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I don't have one of those. So if I don't cook, I don't eat. Unless my son is in a good mood and home and cooks for me. But he's working overtime this week. Plus, he works second shift anyway, but he's going in early every day this week and probably working one day this weekend as well. He's going to be beat, and I hope he doesn't get sick. Anyway, now we can glue this down. I'm comfortable doing that, so we're going to just glue that onto this paper. Pretty easy assembly. And... The best thing I found is line it up at the top and get it centered where you want it. Approximately, you know, I'm not that good at lining stuff up. Straight lines and me. Ugh. Anyway, that's pretty good. And if you need to go off the page, it's better to go up off at the top a little bit so that your bottom lines up pretty good. It should all line up, but you'd be surprised. Okay, now let's figure this out. This is going to go here, approximately here. And everything's crooked again. Hi, Maddie. How are you two doing? M&Ms. <laughs> I love M&Ms. Uh, I'm, but I'm, I have to say, I'm about candied out. Now this one, I didn't have go all the way to the edge over there. So let me maybe slide it over just a tad. And then what we're going to do is just fold it around there. So I know about where to cut it. Because all we're doing is gluing a little bit on the back. Now you, you could have a long enough strip and go all the way across the back. That would look nice actually, but... I figure I'll just stamp my stamp right here, so no big deal. And let me pull that off and bring my trimmer. This might be a good job for the little trimmer. And what I'll do is I'll just go over about maybe an inch and a half from the crease, I think. And then just chop, chop it. And there we go. Now we can glue it together. And then we'll put it on. Yeah, they are cute. But you know what? I think before I put this one on, I'm going to, we're going to take a scrap and cover that up. Let me glue. I'm trying to put glue on the wrong thing. I'm going to glue the whole thing on here. And now we have the crease to kind of, yep. Line us up. 
This is, I think this is Daffodil Delight. And then the Bermuda Bay, just bright, happy colors, right? Makes me want to go to Bermuda. <laughs> I really want to go to Bermuda. Anybody want to go with me? Ay, ay, ay. Anywhere. Well, I don't know. Puerto Rico was having all those um, earthquakes recently. Feel bad for everyone in these climates that are having such nasty stuff okay yeah let's um let me find a scrap of something how about see if i have a daffodil delight scrap that maybe i can put on the back of there Ooh, look at that <laughs> i couldn't have gotten any luckier than that could i it's actually a little bigger, but I could do that, right? And just put it on the front part and have it be a little bigger. I might just do that. All right. Let me put a little snip mark in. Or I could make it even. Nah, I'm going to go a little bigger, actually. I think I like that. Get my paper scissors. And cut that. My cutesy little trimmer. And then we're going to flag it. Hopefully centered. Pretty good on the first try this time. And now that's not going to go all the way around. But let's see what that does on our card, though, as far as if I bring it over. Told you I was going to be winging it tonight. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's too short if I do that. So I have to go that way. Hmm. That might be all right, though. Hmm. I don't like it being too short. <sighs> I misjudged that. So let's go out a little bit, like maybe to here. I'm not even going to bother to cut it. I'm just going to stick this in. Got a little crooked that time. That should maybe do. Too long. Yeah, 1,400 earthquakes. Oh, my gosh. And some of them were bad, like 6.4 and stuff. So. I'm going to go yeah, maybe just another little sliver off, I think. You know, sort of wasting the paper here, but it was a scrap anyway. Okay, I think that's enough. And, you know, there's some times when I save these bits to put, but I'm not tonight. <laughs> Sorry. And we'll use that one from some, for something else. Okay, so that'll work. Let's glue that onto there, too. This will be glued on the back, so it doesn't matter. All right. Gluing it on. That kind of came out in a blob. I'm going to just drag it down so it doesn't pop out. Speaking of honeybee stamps, did I already say this? Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the cards on the 15th because it will be five paper pumpkin alternatives. And one of them uses the honeybees. Well, two use honeybees, but um, man, that did blob out. Ugh. I have to use my, my glue eraser. Still a little wet, so I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it while it's wet. Okay, well, I guess I'll deal with that later. 
and this is off Amazon adhesive eraser or something they call it all right don't like the dirty specs okay all right now we're just going to glue this onto the back on my sticky fingers all right <laughs> Ooh, 19 people watching. Hello, everybody. And five likes. Thank you. Okay, so there's the main part of the card. That opens up. That flips up. And I thought about, I might still do that sometime, but not now, is um, stamping something in here. But for this card, I didn't. So... Two a little toucan's gonna go here on the end, and he's gonna get bumped up with um, little mini foam dots. So let's go ahead and do that. Just have little minis. I had my um, dimensionals in a drawer, and I kept having to pull it out and close it, and I just these baskets I got three for 75 cents or something at, at the thrift store a week, you know, on my birthday celebration day. Thank you, Jackie. Hi, happy new year. Okay. Um, anyway, so I stuck them in there and I just put them up on top of my, oops, up on top of my, um, markers in front of me. He's just going to stand here like this. We'll do the little dots later. And I got that one dimensional up just a little too high, too. I'm going to move it down. See, I'm a little off tonight, too. <laughs> I don't want the dimensional sticking out. Okay, so now let's do our balloons. I'm missing a balloon. Here it is. Actually, let's do our pennant thing first. Our banner, whatever you call these things. What are these things called? Pennants? banners um, it's going to be a little bit too long on one end which we'll have to cut off and for this I'm going to use a fine tip glue bottle and just put glue along that strip and glue it up at the top I'm not going to go all the way we'll go all the way over on that one <sighs> what's everybody else crafting making anything I'm having a, on the first card I actually straightened that out I think I like it better straightened out too I'm going to slide that up a little bit <laughs> I know it's supposed to hang down but I just on this card I don't like it hanging down so much that glue dries really fast so you gotta be quick and then i just take my little paper scissors and snip the ends off that are hanging over there we go and then okay this is just regular whisper white i did run it through the subtle embossing folder there you can see it a little bit this is Bermuda Bay, and these oops, are from the Layering Ovals, and they are this one and this one, okay? I don't know how, I don't have them numbered, but they come like this, and it's the largest one of the three here and the second largest on this side here. And we're going to go ahead and glue those together. Yeah, well, I'm in a lot of, I have lots of ideas, but I'm stuck on my jewelry. I just I was going to do it last week, but, you know, then I got sick making cards, not from the cards, just I got sick in the middle making cards. I ended up, I lost a day and a half, basically, and um, that really actually set me back, and I didn't even go see my mom, but then I had to go see her over the weekend, Cardstock, not fabric. 
Oh, a beach bag. Okay, cool. Yes, I have to use my stuff more often as well. <laughs> so this is going to go here, and it's okay that um, it goes down under a little bit because we're actually going to have balloon strings going down there. And actually, before we put this on, we're going to do our balloons. So what I did with the balloons is I got out some linen thread from Stampin' Up. Although, I kind of think this might be, eh, I guess it's linen thread. I don't know. I have one roll that's a different size. Um, we're going to put glue dots on the back of these balloons, which I just die cut out of Bermuda Bay, Grapefruit Grove, and a little scrap of the background paper that we have on the card. Okay. So, we're just going to... And it sort of just needs to be anywhere, well, it's not quite in the middle, but sort of in the middle if you can. Because we're going to attach our strings to them. <laughs> it does not want to come off me. There we go. And this one. Now, there is a stamp for the balloons, too, but like I said, I didn't do a whole lot of stamping on this tonight. I really want to use the set more. Um, trying to get paper off my fingers sorry now let me get my good ribbon cutting scissors my snips from Stampin' Up and we're going to just put string on oops like that and for now I'm going to cut about maybe I don't know what two and a half inches something a little long but it's okay doesn't hurt to waste a little bit of twine or string because it's relatively inexpensive and this one and I think we're going to make the orange one again be we'll make it this time would be the bottom okay and then we're going to glue these down onto our oval <laughs> You see what I did? I glued the wrong side. Oh my gosh. Dip, dip, dip. Let's see if I can get it up, but I don't know. Glue dots hold pretty good. Oop, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm a mess. Were you yelling at me? I think I will put that in the front. I like that better in the front. Okay. We're going to glue the other two down. I'll just pull your tail down a little bit. You could also put, um, uh, what's that stuff called? Shimmery crystal effects on these balloons. You could take a white chalk marker and make a little, like a stripe on them to make them look more, you know, more balloony. I don't have luck doing that particular one. Now this one, we're going to bump up with a mini dimensional. Let me bring them back down. Right up here. Maybe two. You really only need one, but my twine is a little messed up there, so I wanted to use two. And that goes right in here. There. Now... All we have to do is put a glue dot right about the middle here on the bottom. And I, I actually put two on the other card, but let's let's see if we can do it with one. Let's see if I can get it in the center. Oh, my goodness, I did that good. <laughs> Hi, June. Balloony. We are making this card here. It's a little bit of a fun fold. And we're just about done. So, and um, the design of the card was not my idea, but the design using these pap this paper and stamp set is. So, okay, so that just kind of goes off the bottom there, stuck down, and then we're just going to snip it. There we go. Okay, and now we can put our, 
our balloons down and make them look like in the paper. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. In some of the paper, the toucan, let me find the, the big paper. The toucan has the balloons in his beak. So that's sort of what we're doing, except he's up on here. I might put a little, um, and that sort of looks like it's coming out of his beak. I don't know what I have there. But we'll put it up maybe a little bit like that. And I think that came out cute. So let's glue that down. June balloon. Hi. <laughs> How are you? And thank you for joining us. All right. So we're just going to go about like that. Press it down. I'm going to put one more little dimensional on his beak. Because it wants to seems to want to bend here on this one for some reason. There we go. There you go, Mr. Pecan. And that, oh no, we're missing one key element. The little baby pom-poms. Let me bring those back in. So cute. And I, um, you can use glue, which maybe we'll do this time. I think it might hold better because I see this guy wants to pop off. I just use glue dots on this one, but I think I'm going to use wet glue. And I have some coming out of this little thing here. So let me put a dab. And ugh, if I can get I can't have trouble getting these things open. Just pull one out. My fingers are sticky, so everything's going to stick to me now. And squish it down on. I think wet glue is the answer, guys. And then we have a grapefruit grove one. bad when you have sticky fingers because everything wants to stick to you too and then we're going to use a white one these are just so adorable i almost didn't buy them but i'm glad i did now <laughs> they're cute they're cute 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 and there we go let me close these up so i don't lose them there is card number one and the only difference really is that I made a mess there, but um, that I put a piece of Daffodil Delight paper on the back of this so we don't see the, the lion <laughs> on the back of the paper. Cute. I mean, you could put some bling or something here if you want to, but I, um, I don't really think it needs it. So let me push that up a little bit so you can see them. Um, it's not a tripod. It's a clamp on thing that's clamped on the desk in front of me. And then it, the arm comes out and then I have a, I have a webcam I got off Amazon hooked on the top of it or the, the arm. And then that cord is plugged into my laptop, which is to my left. And I always am dragging the laptop up and down. Um, yeah, I'm glad you did too, June. So um, that's my setup right now. I do have a tripod and I used to use it for my phone, but I haven't been videoing on my phone. Well, I have a new phone now, which I probably could video on. But honestly, I've been having trouble getting stuff off my phone onto my computer. So I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> anyway, so I'm using a webcam. I can't remember. It's like Logitech something 1800p or 1080p 1080p something that i got off amazon it's okay it's not my fave i don't think i'd i'd really love to have a great camera slash thing that i could video on but i don't and i'd love to have a setup where i could have the thing come down from the ceiling like um oh gosh jennifer mcguire and some others but yeah i don't my ceilings are slanted here. There's no way I could do that. And I don't have a handyman to do that for me. So anyway, that is our first card. I have one other card tonight. Um, I don't have three like usual. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Maybe 
Well, it's already eight o'clock. It'll probably be <laughs> enough time to just get the two done. Okay. The next one, um, these ideas I'm getting came from um, my uplines team. Anybody that went to on stage, we had a special um, on stage post, a post on stage team swap. And we had to use stuff in the mini catalog or celebration. So this next one is inspired by Beverly, who I actually did meet and roomed with up at uh, on stage in Connecticut. And um, her suite that she had to do, if you remember watching one of my videos, I did the um, Lovely Lilies suite. But Beverly did the um, poppies. And we are going to use poppies, but we're going to use different paper. And this is where we're going to use the lovely mm, Label Me Lovely punch. This punch. And this out of the Layered with Kindness. Uh, we're going to use Happy Birthday here. Out of this set that I just got. And we're going to use pretty much like she did with one twist. Okay, her card is, hang on, I actually have two sets here of everything. Because I was trying to get one made for you all, but I can't show you. Um, you know, standard, let me make sure I'm saying it right this time. Four and a quarter this time, I believe. Yes, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I'm going to make sure I get this even. By the way, guys, if you have a Stampin' Up! bone folder, they're great. But don't rub it on the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo on. Because I rubbed that off, luckily, on the back of one of my cards one time. I don't know whether it was wet or what, but it rubbed off. Right, we work with what we have. Good night, Jackie. Thank you for coming. Okay, so now Beverly did not do this, but I'm going to, and I'll tell you why when we get to that point. This is another piece of pool party, and I actually had this in my scrap. It's already been run also through the subtle embossing folder, my, probably one of my favorite embossing folders, which you can't really see too well there. There. And that's just going to go right on the front here. But we're going to, I pre-cut some paper out of the, is it Peaceful Poppies? Let me see. So bad with these names this year. Peaceful Poppies, designer series paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we're going to use an element again out of the uh, these elements that come with the, they don't, they're in the suite, uh, Peaceful Poppies. And we're just going to use the cardstock ones that are pre-printed like that. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how they look once I get the, uh, the other parts done. And then I have this piece also cut. And we could either put it like that. But I think I want to use this side and just go like that. So that's the idea. Now... Um, we're going to leave a little bit of this pool party show and I cut these, I had to cut a quarter inch off of these, I think off of this one, because I was going to do it, um, all the way on this card here, but I changed my mind and decided to do another little piece. So I just need to cut, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I think I need my other, I need the other trimmer. <laughs> I can't, I can't see the quarter inch going off the edge there. So let me bring this in. Bring in the big papa. There we go. I like having that little measurement over there. And let me do the other one while I have this up here for the other card. Mm, this way, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't have thought the bone folder. I guess it's just painted on. It's just painted on. So I don't know. It did. It rubbed off. 
luckily on the back of a card, like I said. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is get extra pieces out of the way. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to figure out where, how far over we want this, just about a quarter inch. I think like that, but before we glue it down, this I cut at three quarter inch. Um, you could cut it just at like a quarter inch if you're good at lining things up, but I wanted to be able to just tuck it under and glue it. So we're actually going to glue that down first. And right about there. Remember that. I think what I'm going to do is hold it down and and glue some. I hate to cover up the pretty pretty side of the paper, but it just looks better. All right. It might not be the best idea. Like that. Oops. And then we'll lift up this flap and do the rest. And that way I have my placement pretty good. Here we go. And then this, we can make it as wide or as thin as we want. I think that'll work. So look at that side too. Isn't that pretty? But this has some of the pool party color on it. So we're going to go with that. <laughs> yeah. Poppies are, yeah, I have two, both Stampin' Up! and non. Some other company now has a poppy set out too. It came out after I saw Stampin' Ups for sure. But Honestly, I think I like ours better, but, you know, that's just me. I think it's beautiful, and I love poppies, too. My dad was a veteran, and he used to um, belong to the VFW after he was out and then go in parades and stuff, and he always had a poppy on his... Uh, uniform or suit or whatever okay so now the reason i wanted that extra piece is uh we're going to wrap this seam binding crinkled seam binding ribbon and we're going to leave it white this time you've seen me other other times because i'm going to do a cheater bow beverly had actually taken and um huh well she had her card going this this way first of all but um she had wrapped it around through the inside, and I didn't want to do that. Plus, I wanted my card to go vertically. <laughs> so we're going to just tack it down on the other side, on both sides, and then do a cheater bow up, up here-ish, approximately. So let me get my snail and figure out right about where those papers end. So right about here. I've seen other people use um, just regular tape, and that's fine, too. Let me make sure. I, I don't want to cover up all that red, so I got it over too far. There we go. And that is Poppy Parade, that color. Fitting name for poppies, right? And there we go. We'll just snip it. I like this ribbon because it lays so nice and flat. And we got that a little bit crooked, but we can fix it now. Now is the time to fix. Here we go. Is that straight? Pretty straight? I don't know. A little bit not straight. <laughs> Maybe my paper is crooked. I don't know. Good enough. Okay, so now we're going to glue that down onto here. Even saw a poppy themed picnic set. Oh, I haven't seen that. One time at a yard sale, I bought one of those big picnic sets in a nice, um, like a wicker or whatever it's called, a uh, rectangular suitcase kind of thing. I never used it, so I resold it at my yard sale last, last year or the year before. That was a shame. And it wasn't expensive or anything. It just made me sad that I never got to use it. So I thought it was kind of cool. 
I've lost people. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to wait and tie the bow after we stamp. So I have this scrap here. And let's see. I think we're going to use Poppy Parade ink. If I can find it. Here it is. Let's see if I like that. Either that or Memento Black I would use. Not Pool Party because it would be too light to me. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I like it. And if not, I'll turn it over. Right? There's always the other side. All right. Let's try it. I want to go kind of close to the edge because I want to try and get two out of this one sheet of paper. <laughs> One for the other card. Oh, that came out pretty good. Okay. Now, I'm going to test this stamp cleaner thing. But first, I'm going to clean it on my chamois. Now, rubber stamps tend to clean a little better to me. But there's still a little red on there. Let's see how well this does. I almost hate to dirty it, right? Ooh, look at all the red coming off of there. It does have a... I don't know what that is. Surface. Look how much is coming off, though. Right? I'm going to spritz it with water now and use a paper towel, I guess. Because it says to clean them with water right away. So we're going to do that. I think because of the chemical in the pad could ruin your stamp. I don't know. So I cleaned it on the chamois, but I'm still getting red off. So it does take more off for sure. I'm going to spritz it again with the water. Okay, June. Um, and it's funny because I didn't smell it at first, but um, like it didn't have a strong odor when I opened it. But I am smelling it a little more now. Maybe it's interacting with the water. I don't know. Or just because I have it close to me. <laughs> okay. Nice clean stamp. Somebody, when I was having my live sale, said, you're... Stamp the rubber stamps are so immaculate, immaculate, but you know, a lot of times I only get to use them um, once or twice, and then that's about it. And uh, the photopolymer will stain, I'll have to try one of them soon. Okay, so I'm putting this in this label me lovely, excuse me, punch in the mini catalog. Very pretty, pretty, pretty. And let's figure out where we want that. Just have it here. And then do we want these? I think we'll put these like over here. Maybe we'll put it down a little bit. I almost don't like these poppies on it this time. Um, hmm. Let me see something. What I could do is is punch another one of these in Poppy Parade and, you know, cut it in half and do that trick, which I did before. Let me just see. Maybe I want... Ugh, can't get a hold of them. These poppies instead. I kind of like that better. What do you think? Yeah, that's why they say rinse them with um, water right away. So I sprayed it with water for now. I'm liking the little ones better on this particular card. And I might even put it down a little further because I'm going to have a bow up here. Let me tie the bow. Cheater's bow. <laughs> I'm just going to just remember this is not tacked down on this side. Actually, I can snip this. My hands feel icky. 
Icky, icky, icky. There we go. And then I'm going to snip that down. There and there. Cute, cute, cute. Play with that till you get it right. What do you think? I love teeter bows. Yes. <laughs> and they don't take up as much. They're not as bulky. Even this ribbon is nice and thin. I love this for on cards because it's so thin and nice. But um, some of the thicker ones, you know, I they're... This you could tie a regular bow and it would be fine, but some of them you can't because they take up too much. They, they bulk it up too much. And I actually want to cut this down just a little bit more. All right. So what do we think? I like those. I think I'm just going to go with those. So I'm going to glue those down and then we'll pop up the sentiment. I put everybody to sleep. And pop this up. So I need my big dimensionals this time. I'll use four probably. Yeah. I usually put one in the middle, but I'm not, I'm not going to bother this time. And we still have to do the inside. And we'll just put that right about there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I think it needs a little bling. So let's do the inside first. Inside, I just have a piece of Whisper White cut to the four by five and a quarter. And let's see. Is there a sentiment on something we want to put inside? Mm, probably not. Let me grab my peaceful, peaceful painted poppies stamp set and I think we'll just and of course I didn't use it yet so <laughs> thank you June yeah it's pretty I love the whole poppy set cute cute pretty pretty not really cute pretty the the first card was cute this one's more pretty all right, guys, you have to help me do this because sometimes I get them perfect and sometimes I don't. And I think since we're only doing two cards, I'm actually going to even color this for you. Get the bottom on. See, I'm shaking. And turn that. I, I don't know. Nope, it's off a little bit here. So I get my sticky scissors and trim it a little because otherwise I'll be pulling on it. But that kind of messes me up when I'm stamping because I think it's, you know, in a certain position and it's not. Anybody else have trouble with that? Probably because I'm on camera too. It's worse. That was worse than I usually do. Okay. Put that back in there move it somewhere <laughs> and get another block out and put it on there and I guess I'll just stamp it in memento tuxedo black because I'll use my blends to color it Beautiful. That was my stamp chamois making the noise. <laughs> okay, so we need Poppy Parade, light and dark. And I don't know what color this green is. Let me check. Probably old olive. 
Mm, mossy Meadow. Okay, we have Mossy Meadow, but I'm going to go with... That's Old Olive. I'm going to go with Light Mossy Meadow because I don't want it to be... Yeah, Light Mossy Meadow, Light and Dark Poppy Parade. That's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to do the leaf and stem first. And I'm not going to do super duper fancy coloring. Especially on the leaf. And stems. Am I even in frame? Barely. Mm, sorry. So Paige, are your eyes still closed and ears um, plugged with your fingers? <laughs> Oops. Um, one of these days, I think I have to do just a, an hour with just Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade. Painted poppies because I want to try the watercolor with them okay now I'm gonna go with a really light touch here in this fine sorry this fine area here otherwise I'm gonna be way out of line still out a little bit but it's okay really light touch there we go not too bad this little one I'm gonna do with the dark poppy parade Almost looks like a strawberry. And then I'm going to just come in here and use dark here. I might even put a touch of, um, well, they have it with black on the paper, so I'll just leave it black. I was thinking a touch of um, Mango Melody there in the center, but I'm not going to do any other shading than that on this one. And then I'll just come in and try and blend that out. And I like to do the blending right away and then drag it out as best I can. I'm not an expert colorist, colorer, whatever it's called, but it's fun sometimes. I like to watch people who are, though. <laughs> I have. Uh, one lady from over the pond that does a lot of um, mixed media and coloring, and she's she's wonderful at it, and I love watching her. But anyway, she's not a demonstrator or anything. She just is, does beautiful coloring there. So that will be our inside, and we're just going to glue that down. Now your alcohol markers do go through. So this is where I say, Brandy, you can't. She said in one of her videos, you just flip it over. You can for stamping, but on alcohol markers, if it's um, the thinner weight paper, it definitely bleeds through. <laughs> so you can't always flip it over unless you're going to cover that with some piece of paper. Then you can. All right. I'm just using my Tombow to glue this in. I didn't put any border in because we did tone on tone on the front. And that is our card, which I'll make another one off, off camera. I think it came out beautiful. So I have a, I have two birthday cards done tonight. Yay. I had, I usually try and do three cards, but I think I'm going to stop at two tonight. So we did our little toucan guy. And, um, and our poppies one. The other one I was going to do, if I got to it. And now, I don't have this stamp set. But the Country Club paper has these images. So I thought I'd just color an image and use the paper. But I think, um, yeah, I love the poppy set too. And <laughs> Brandy heard that. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to save this and I'm going to use it for. No, I can't. 
it'll be a different and never mind i i was thinking we were doing masculine cards for a collab this month but it got changed to march then i don't want to wait that long so i'll do this in a separate video sometime or maybe i'll do it and have it ready for next week because that will take me a while to do that coloring and i i don't want to because it's already 8 30. so that would have been my other card um i thought about using the hearts paper but i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do a whole separate video on hearts so that's it for tonight does anybody have any questions on anything or um anything you want to see next week let me i kind of was planning out what i want to do so i did paint a poppies um oh i want to use to the happy birthday to you the cake the cake uh, stamp set. So maybe I'll do that in the masculine one. Um, but I want to do Paris next week. Paris and hearts next week. So maybe I'll do Paris hearts and a masculine one. Do three different cards. And then, um, then we want to do ladybugs, poppies again. And tropical. I'm itching to do tropical. <laughs> so... Oh, thank you for saying that. That was nice. You're enjoying my creations. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. And I thank Beverly for giving me the idea because it's very similar to what she did. I used a different punch. I used a different one of those and different set of papers here. And I did do the um, subtle embossing on top. So I just don't like when I made it vertical. I don't like wrapping the ribbon so that you see the ribbon on the inside. I don't know. I just have something against that personally but i've seen other people do and it looks fine it's just something i don't like to do so and i think this guy is so cute let's celebrate you you <laughs> oh paris hearts and masculine a masculine heart one hmm probably not in red and pink but yes i probably can do a masculine heart one I was thinking more the golf paper, but um, I'll see what I can do, June. <laughs> Maybe I can. Maybe I'll do two masculine, masculine ones next week. And I'll do guys like red. Some guys like pink. You love the golf, Clay? All right. Well, we'll see what I can come up with. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do for tonight. And um, yeah, write your requests in or put them in the comments below once this goes up. Yeah, challenge. <laughs> A masculine heart one. I probably can do that. Yep, I'll think about it. Um, tomorrow on the 15th, come back because there's going to be five paper pumpkin alternatives. And I will tell you that they're using the honeybee suite for one of them, two of them, um, and the umbrella suite for one of them. And then the other one, the, uh, well, I'm sorry, the honeybee suite for two of them, the umbrella, right, for one of them. And then the last two cards I made, five cards, the last two are identical and they used... Um, a stamp set out of the annual catalog so you'll have to watch tomorrow and find out what those are and then um come back on what day is that the 18th because i'm in a collab called stuff it bags purses and boxes or something like that and i'm going to be using the paris paper so come see that on the 15th I'm sorry, 18th at 10 a.m. I think it is Eastern time. Yeah, uh, that will not be a live. That'll be a video. And then also on the 18th, uh, we'll have our first um, jewelry, having fun making jewelry collab video going up. So busy next couple days. And um, I hope to see some of you there. Alrighty, guys, have a wonderful evening. I have to clean up this mess so I can walk to the door. <laughs> uh, cover up the ribbon with another piece of card. What do you mean? Oh, do you, June? Awesome. 
Well, maybe you have to jo join my collab. I think we have. I think we have eight people in that one, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody makes. I'm struggling with that one, honestly. I, I can't seem to get myself back into the making the stuff. So guess what? Tomorrow is jewelry making day. <laughs> yeah. Clay makes jewelry, too. So uh, that's JWB52Z for those not in the know. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching and joining me tonight. I know I've dropped down to seven. Thank you for the thumbs ups. And um, feel free to leave me a comment. If there's something you want to see in particular, other than June gave me her her um, input. So, yeah, feel free to leave me input as well. And I'll see what I can do. Talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace. Oh, thank you, June. Good night, Paige. Good night, everybody. <laughs>